jako devátý startují Larisa Selezněva, Oleg Makarov, Sovětský svaz, Soviet Union. The door is open for last year's European champions to retain that championship. They won it last year when Gordieva and Grinkov withdrew. This is the couple of Larisa Svatsneva and Oleg Makarov. They are defending champions. They're from Leningrad. They looked magnificent in their short program. They could win again the European championships. Right off the top, it appears that their costumes belie a declaration of war with an outstanding color of red. Well done, beginning with two side-by-side -side triple toe loops. This pair ha must be appreciated for the way they are matched and particularly with Larissa's technical ability, both as a pair skater and as a single skater, this is to me much more of what pairs should look like, at least physically. Triple twist, wonderful knee bend, wonderful extension at the back, and far more exciting than their teammates, Gordeva Grinkoff, in my opinion. They were second after a very, very strong short program. Something which must be acknowledged with this couple is a very conspicuous maturity that, for me, was certainly lacking in the world champion program previous to this. If one is to detect what great skating really is, it is not in the individual maneuvers, spins and jumps, it is in the edges. This is a classic example of what excellent skating really is about. A nice save, she did touch down her foot, nevertheless, she did stay up. A throw, triple toe loop. A pair of this stature should really have choose far more serious music. I think more than any other year, this will be the most political year for judging. It will be interesting to see because this is certainly a superior performance to their teammates, Gordier Vagrinkov. Let us see whether they get the marks they deserve. I'm not so sure they will.
apart from really somewhat insubstantial music, this was clearly the best performance so far. Certainly, there should be no question that the mark of 5.9 should fly up. It would be interesting to see particularly what the Russian judge gave, because the Russian judge gave to their teammates, reigning world champion Gordiev Vagrinkov, a 5.9. If he gives them 5.9, this pair should have six. Here we see examples of excellent single skating, two beautifully done triple toe loops. I think probably more than any other couple in the world, they are examples of really what pair skating should be. It's not that they are the definitive pair, but rather excellent skaters, excellent athletes. Artistically, there is a certain quality there. And this is really, I think, the direction that pair skating should go into. Will they get the marks that will allow them to retain that European championship? I don't think with those that they're going to get them for the first set, five sevens, five eights. And the Soviet judge has given them a five eight. Well, Ted, this is probably the beginning of a controversy that will reign throughout all the competitions the world over. Overt, conspicuous politics, very unfair markings. There's no doubt any skater with any knowledge of what pair skating should be would have to agree that this was a 5.9 or 6.0 performance, certainly not 5.7. And in comparison to their teammates, Gordieva Grinkoff, really it's a crime. I'm sorry to see it. Next escape.